We will be performing a lateral stick wall push with flex. This is level two of our lateral stick wall pushes. So what we are gonna do is we're gonna stand with a golf width stance, get your hip hinge. You're gonna drive the base of the stick into a wall or a squat rack, any solid upright post that you have to your side. Now level one, what we did is we started here, level one within level one, right? We had here, level two was here, and then level three was there, right? So each, the further we got out, further arms got away from the body, the harder it became because the less leverage that we had. So we're gonna do the exact same thing for our level two lateral wall stick pushes, but now we're gonna add a flex. So we're just gonna use the tension of the stick and then we're gonna create flexion with one of the hands and we're gonna, because we're gonna be pulling and pushing with opposite hands here. So same thing, I'm gonna start level one of level two. If that makes any sense, we're gonna drive the stick at about waist height, take my golf stance, set my core tension, drive the base of that stick into the wall. Now my top arm, my outside arm, will pull while my inside arm will press. So I'm just getting the tension there, full body tension. So I'm gonna start close to the body and then I will put a flexion moment into the stick, control it back, and then I will just do the exact opposite. Inside arm will pull, outside arm will press, create that tension, and now I can create flexion in the other way. That is level one. Level two, I'd just be slightly further out, still at same height, double overhand grip, golf stance, Drive the base of the stick into the wall. Outside arm will pull, inside arm will press. Keep driving that stick into the wall so you can have that leverage. Come back in, create tension again, drive into the wall and pull and relax. And then finally, level three of level two. We are in a more difficult position, golf stance, golf width. Drive the stick into the post. Bottom arm pulls, outside arm presses. Hold and then just reverse. Set the tension, drive in, uh, and a push. As you can see there, everything lights up, full body starts shaking, because that was a very challenging movement to stabilize and create motion. So you would just complete the prescribed number of reps in any of the zones. You could train all three zones, if that's what your training called for. But you would just start wherever you start, any position that's best for you, create the tension, you could push and pull, Hold for the prescribed amount of time on each push and pull, and then complete the prescribed amount of reps, pushing and pulling in each direction before you flip sides. Do the exact same process on the other side of the body. We wanna have some good symmetry, strength balance between our left and right sides. So do your pushes, do your pulls, level one, two, and three. Give a shot, let us know what you think.